All right, so now we're talking about foot pain all, and also ankles. Now we do tend to see a lot of athletes that roll their ankles, once again, netball, hockey, football, you name it, any of those running sports, change your direction will be an issue. But what I wanted to talk about is obviously a little bit of foot pain, and we do see that, especially when the running athletes as well. <clears throat> it's a couple of principles that we can do that work really, really, really well with um, working with this. Now we're gonna use the lotion, and the reason for that is we've got the most slip in this, in the Premax lotion. So really want as much slip as I can when I'm working with this because I don't want to be digging in and that's when people obviously especially um, juniors and so forth will start to get really really ticklish when you're getting in and working really diggy like okay so we want big broad sweeping um, strokes so to start with I'm going to apply so we use both hands we're going to come along the front of the shin if you like, across the front of, and then up and underneath, like so, we'll meet at the toes going like that, okay? So if you do this right and you do it long enough, obviously what will happen is that your client should fall asleep. No, no, that's not necessarily the case, but there's a fair chance that they can, all right? So provided there's no swelling around here, we're talking about just a general massage to the foot, and I find this makes a massive difference, especially to our, as I said, our running athletes. Because once again, we do get muscles that come down here and they can refer pain into the foot, and you've actually got specific muscles under here as well that also create pain as well. We're not gonna go into all of those because it can be really, really detailed, but I'm just gonna give you some of these general principles. Okay, so we're gonna come down, as I said, broad, and then starting basically where the heel is here, broad again as well. We're just gonna basically grip and pull all the way up, okay? So it's down and up, really quite simple, okay? Once again, because we're using the lotion, it should be really quite slippery, so we're not gonna be digging in too much as well. And we do have a muscle just on the top here as well, very broad, but once again, you've got a lot of superficial bone there, so we don't wanna be trying to massage the bone either, okay? Really quite simple. Okay, now if you want to work some of the muscles under the foot, and there's plenty of them. Some of you would have heard of the condition plantar fasciitis. Nasty little condition. Pain right at the heel here. Can refer up more into the mid part of the foot as well. You'll feel that usually when you've been sitting for a while. You get up, first couple of steps, it feels like you're stepping on broken glass. Really quite nasty, but Apart from that, we have lots of layers of muscles under here. So what we can do is we can use a really, really broad fist, okay? And basically what we're looking at doing is just molding our fist into that tissue and working along the length and back up towards the heel, okay? So you're just blending along, okay? And letting the foot just mold around the fist. And you work all the way to the heel like so, okay? We do this nice and slowly. We don't wanna be doing this really fast because that's once again, we're gonna dig in and that creates pain. We're not about pain. We're all about just relaxing these muscles as much as we can. So we work along to the heel and try and make it as broad as you can again because we don't wanna be putting too much pressure into any particular area, okay? So working back along and then you can alternate. So then you come back up, squeeze all the way up, come along, back down and back up again, and then down like so, okay? Now, then we can start to alternate and do not only holding and blending with here, now we can do both together. So we're gonna come across and slide both of them together, like so, all right? That looks and feels as good as it looks. <laughs> so when you're squeezing, pushing down, should feel both the top and the bottom going at the same speed, okay? Back and down. Okay, and then pulling back up again, like so. Okay, now what we can also do, which I do like doing, take the table down a bit more, is that we can do a little bit just with the toes themselves. So just doing little squeezes along the length of the toes as well. Okay, and you ask why? 
That's simple. It feels good. Okay, you've got little muscles along that area there, so it's really worth doing it. Just make sure that the thing, the toenails aren't too sharp. So we work along. Really simple. Really great for those athletes to spend a lot, a lot of time on their feet. All right, now, what we can also do just very quickly, and it is very important, we have a muscle that runs right along here. Okay, that's your shin bone there, your tibia. So we don't want to be on that side, we're going to be on this side, and that's called your tibialis anterior muscle. So it's sort of responsible for bringing the foot up. Often gets neglected, especially with when we're doing a lot of work on the calf. So it is important that we do a bit of work on this muscle as well. So once again, it's going to be really broad. So we're just going to basically have this is going to be our stroke. This is obviously going to be our hand that braces as we work along there. Okay, so right along that tibialis anterior, you have another little muscle that runs alongside it as well, and that's called your extensor digitorum longus. Now, both of them together, really, really important. So it's hard to address one without the other. Okay, so once again, really broad approach, right along all the way up towards the knee. Okay, so that's tibialis anterior. So, recap, you can come all the way down. Okay, obviously we're looking at bringing, squeeze, then we're going to do some broad fist. At the same time, we can do the top as well at the same time. Okay, and then working along the length of that tibialis anterior. Okay, that will make for a just really good general massage to the foot, especially for the running athlete. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. We look forward to your feedback. So if you even remotely enjoyed some of that content, please do me a favor and hit the like button below just so that I know that you did enjoy it. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any of the content that we put up on a regular basis, then the best way to do that is obviously just to hit the subscribe button. So it's a bit of a no-brainer. But most importantly, if you really want to see the true show, the real show, take the opportunity, hit the link below, stuarthines.com. That's where we have all the comprehensive assessment treatment of a whole range of conditions. That's where we have our online courses and obviously our mentoring and so forth, the webinars and our podcasts. So if you're even remotely, remotely interested in what we do, go and check it out appreciate it. But also, most importantly, again, just be awesome at what you do.